Let's just go back to trying to open those doors. I think that is probably a good idea. Or not the doors, the, the boxes. Um, the only problem is I don't remember where... I want to find the one with the film camera, but I don't remember where it was. Just down here. Or it might have been on the third floor. Let's look. We're going to want to go back down. There we go. Let's check the second floor. Is it this way? No, this is just straight back to there. Okay. So I want to be thorough. Oh, I did get the club's key, didn't I? No, I didn't. I got the club's card, but I'm trying to get dollars before I do that. Okay, yeah, that's all that is. We still need to figure out how to get into the orangery as well. I still don't understand this puzzle at all. Where is that film puzzle? Was it on the third floor? Do I have the 1960 key? No. <sighs> it's easy to lose track. Yeah, this is the hallway one. We've already done the hallway. I do need to figure out where the last one was as well. I don't remember. We already did this one. Oh, there's a dollar. All right, one more dollar and we can head back to the um, magician as well. Makes me think that there must be some that I've like missed pretty easily. Balcony door. I don't know. This is gonna be a walking episode where I walk around a lot. Try to remember where things are. I think this game is my game of the year so far. I think this game is really good. Okay, this is different than I thought it was. 1957, can white exist without black? The artist challenges dualism and leads us astray. To present us with an idea that we, what we believe is only a half finished thought. Okay, so obviously This is supposed to be indicative of a number. But I don't know what number. Oh my god, it's so hard to tell. I was thinking it was going to be... Hmm... <laughs>
I thought it was going to be like a clock puzzle where we had to, um, like a dig digital clock where we had to figure out from the lines what the number is, but not sure. To form new ideas and beliefs, all I need to do is look up from what we previously thought was true. Ah. Okay, so they don't match. So it's, I see, that's four. Zero. Eight. Three. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Let's start writing these down, shall we? Um, hold on, I have to look at the ground really quickly. Oh, I can't see it. I just need to know the shape of the boxes. So it's, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, seven, two, nine, six, five, One, three, eight, zero, four. All right. Well, we got this one. This is not the, the camera one I wanted to do. How does it know? <laughs> How does it know? How does the maze man know? But I think I found where the other, the film puzzle was. It's up there, isn't it? In the loft. I can't believe we're getting another script page already. It's very clever. It must be triggered by looking up at the puzzle. That's very smart. All right, let's get him. Come for me, maze man. Befragungsraum hept. I don't know. I don't know the German word for eight. We have a few details that we cannot seem to get right. Fuck, I just, I made the worst cup of coffee imaginable. Please try to remember, Fraulein. Three, there's a letter. All right. Three, letter, underneath. Journal du Sud. Renzo Nero uh, remporte le gros jackpot au Club Rouge. Renzo Nero uh, won a huge jackpot at Club Rouge. I don't know. Uh, magnifying glass. There's one cup. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen drawers. Um, two are open. 
right hand phone, left hand there. Is there anything in the trash? It does not look like it. Pencil on the left, magnifying glass on the right. The key is heavier than the two chess pieces in the scales. Two white books on top. Let's do it. Do I remember? I remember it all. What object was in the right of the drawer? The drawer to the right of a woman? Magnifying glass, baby. Let's fucking go. The woman awaits nervously by the phone. Suddenly it rings. The woman answers. The other end is available. Thank you. There's a switching sound. Bob here. Mr. Sidney, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm a bit worried about the project. Who is this? I'm working with Mr. Nero on the third eye. Silence. Hello? Did you not receive the letter? No? That's unfortunate. Where are you now? I'm at the hotel. What's going on? Long silence. She's there now. What does legal say? There's another inaudible voice. Get out. Now. A pistol shot is heard. The woman drops the phone. Alright, cool. Let's drop off some... Well... Let's wait to drop off some of these script pages. Because I think we're getting close to all of them. I don't know how many there are. My guess is 10. I don't want to progress that. All right, I think this is where it was. It's right here, right? No, it's the wrong one. Shoot. I thought I had it. Um. Hmm. I really don't remember. It doesn't mark it. I really, truly don't remember <laughs> where that other one is. Fuck. <laughs> we'll give him the script pages. Let's coffee cup it up. All right, I'm just gonna have to zoom around and try to find this, this room. It's not this one. This is 1957, I'm gonna write this down. 1957, I don't have the 82 key. That's there. Oh, we do need to do this one. Okay, that's where that is. I will remember that. Nineteen seventy three. Oh, I can't put that down yet. Is there nothing over here? Nope. Not in the spades hallway or the di uh, the diamonds hallway because we've already been there. Not in this room. Don't think it's in here. Down to the this area. Is it in here?
I'm gonna like probably need to look at my footage to figure out where this room is because I don't remember at all. it in here oh that's a quiz club that's club's door this is outside the hell <laughs> uh where is it all right let's look at our map Nineteen thirty-two. Is that it? That might be it. I forgot that you could look at the map that way. Is it this room? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, yeah, and this one is this is just a shapes puzzle. So So just to write the shapes down. U is one. Why? is two what uh, i need 1932 so we're already close to getting what we want nine i just need three there we go All right, 1932. Let's go and do these. <laughs> Jeesh. All right, we just got to find... Okay, I can do this one. This should be simple. Um... Yes, yay. By the late 1950s, focus shifted to her own independent work. She crammed a century of art into a decade, including traditional painting as well as short films and animations. If one should highlight her work in the late 50s, her 1957 exhibition Leben, which included a series of photo dream collages, probably her most outstanding work. Okay. One, nine, three, two. It worked. In 1932 in Frankfurt am Main, Greta Weiss gave birth to a girl child. She was the first of three girls born in as many years. From one of the few remaining photographs, we can see that she was uh, a small child. Oh. Her mother looks proud with little lore in her arms, while her father appears as a blur. Lore. Uh, leaving the frame hastily while the picture was being taken. Okay. Let's talk to the old lady and call her Lore. Piece at Electronic Art Symposium, Photo Collages, Cafe, Mother, Her Sister, and Father. Name and Telex, Eunice Project. Or. She's not responding. Okay. Maybe we go back to the quiz club. Because 
because I do have the ability to answer some more questions there. So that might be worthwhile. All right, so quiz club time. And we have a chance of finding more dollar bills here, so that's good. And then we can do the, the third bug report as well. No American dollars. I just want one American dollar. So I can afford the final sideshow. Have we done this one yet? Have we gotten this key? We have. Okay. This game's soundtrack gives Alone in the Dark remake a run for its money. Oh, that's the way out. That was silly of me. I should have realized that. somewhere. here no that's a dead end that leads out already got that key so we're good this is the Yamamoto question right Gamble to pass or perish. On what street number does Yamamoto live? Allow my contemplation. Books. Is there a telephone directory? Yamamoto K, what is it, Oststrauss 62? Truth above all, risk my life, brother. 62. Damn straight, that was correct, we just looked it up. Open book test, baby. Let's fucking go. We're living it. Yes. If there, if here is not a place, then this key must not be mine. 1953 key. All right, we know where that is. They say if I never pass, gamble to pass or perish. What is Egger's phone number? Allow my contemplation. I didn't expect yet another phone number one. Eggers B and G. O oh, four eight three four seven. Oh, this reminds me. There's a there's a cool uh notebook for sale on the Annapurna shop that I think I'm kind of sad that I didn't own it. Um, before I started playing um, because it's a notebook built for this game that you're meant to take notes in that has like documents and like pre-made diagrams to help you like 
not solve the puzzles, but like track them. It's really interesting. Um, if you just Google search like Lorelei notebook, you'll find it. Very cool. Oh, four, eight, three, four, seven. Correct. If I exist as much as the maze, then this key must not be mine. 1962. We're getting close to inventory completion, which is neat. How many minutes after midnight did Andreas Coleman arrive at Hotel Let's See Yar? Four, Quarter past midnight, 15. Correct. <laughs> It's such a simple effect, but it is just so cool. <laughs> I'm just going up here really quick to, yeah, there's nothing. I was hoping there would be a dollar. There was not a dollar. We're very sad about this. If he dreamed me, then this key must not be mine. 1973. I might not be able to complete the quiz club yet because I don't have that middle gate open. Is this the question about the wine? Gamble to pass or perish. Which room did the, the, did the dead woman's key lead to? 1847. Eighteen forty-seven. Correct. If I am but a story, then this key must not be mine. 1982. We're getting all the keys, baby. Let's go. I'm so here for this. In which 2014 issue of Art Filter can you read the article about Lorelei Vice? Issue 2. I just need to find the wine question. I think that's the last one to clear. I want to walk these paths though so I can see if there's any dollar bills. It all leads to the same spot, okay. Give me my dollar dollar bills. I think that might be him. Oh, okay, we're right. We're in between a few of them. And this is the wine one. How many journeyed in silk robes? How many journeyed in silk robes and tattered rags and gilded wagons and on bloody souls? I have no idea. We'll have to figure that one out. Oh, wow. Three of them all right here. Play safe and never pass. Gamble to pass or perish. How many puzzle boxes are included in the work of our Schlossene Erinnerungen? Oh, fuck. 
I don't know. Well, I guess we can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it nine? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That doesn't seem right to me, but it might be. Fear of death obstructs the truth. What date in January was the first Monday of 1847? I mean, I guess I could just math that out. Hmm. I'll have to actually do the math on that. That's fine. All right, well, we didn't find the guy that I was looking for specifically, which is weird. And that's fine, I need to save anyway, because we got a bunch of stuff. Quiz Club 11 out of 26? Holy fuck, there must be way more than I thought. And there's another maze, man. Three, four. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fez and scissors. One, two, three, four, five. Keys. One letter. Cup on the desk. Book. Did just save. How much luggage is there? Three pieces of luggage, two are black, one is white. Four candles, wine glass. What's he holding? A revolver in his right hand, sunglasses on his face. Do you remember? I remember it all. This man holding his hand, revolver. He's obsessed with this gun. This matches our information, Fraulein. Interior hotel reception lobby night. The woman hyperventilates. The bullet has barely missed her head. She panics and makes her way out to the lobby. As she opens the door, the man is standing there. He is wearing sunglasses. He lowers his smoking revolver. Signorina, thank God I can't see shit in these glasses. I thought you were someone else. One of them. That could have ended horribly. The man laughs. Anyway, you'll be glad to hear that I've developed an entirely new philosophy for motion pictures. And yes, art in general. I... Art must be set free from the tyranny of the beholder. We're releasing it back into space. We're putting on the greatest show that the world has ever seen. Never seen, Signorina. Oh, who were you calling? Was it the magician? Is he telling lies about me? No, I had to call my aunt. She's... Was it the Americans? No, I... I have to work. Oh, I'm keeping you. Let's walk and talk. The woman walks fast and the man strolls beside her. Everyone has a part to play in the revolution. Rudy lacks artistic talent, so he'll be the Minister of Defense. Do you agree, Signorina? Yes, Minister of Defense. Signorina, please be serious. Rudy is a Labrador. He does not have the stomach for warfare. The woman tries to find her way out of the hotel, but the man blocks her way by always running in front of her. Signorina, please be serious. We are under siege. The atomic bomb? Very beautiful, but instrumental. They used it politically. A cardinal sin. The woman hurries away. The man rushes after, continuing the conversation. As you know, the maze is a weapon of mass destruction, an endless ride for fascists and critics. 
The bumper cars have been permanently closed because of a collision. Sabotage, Signorina, sabotage. The man suddenly grabs a woman's arm. Who was on the phone? Was it Sydney? Did he tell you lies about my magic show? No, I... Forgive me, Signorina. Here I talk and talk. What I wanted to tell you is that I am waiting for you upstairs. I looked serious, so you might want to go check. The woman studies his face in terror. She notices red stains on his cheek. He hurries away. The woman stands and listens as he runs away. She sneaks back to the main entrance. She pushes the door. It's locked. You panic. You run through the corridors, pulling handles of every door. They are all locked. You turn at every corner, checking all the windows, locked as well. You will run up and down the stairs and panic. You will find yourself in my room. I am not there. I haven't been there this entire time. I am in the real 1963. So that took a turn. Definitely want to save after that one. Alright, let's go check on the amount of um, things in Verschlossene Erinnerungend. Let me see. Let's count. I think it's nine, but I just wanted to be sure. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, nine V E. Good to know. Um, so we can probably go back to the quiz club then. I don't want to like initiate the end game but I do think it might be prudent to give him that script page just to see if it opens the 1963 room. I cannot thank you enough, Signorina. The door unlocks. Come in, Signorina. We just slid the pages under the door. These are new things. Uh, interior theater day. Smoke lies thick in the small tawdry theater. On the hardwood stage, a magician performs. His coat is worn and mended, but once it was expensive. Lorenzo the Great. Lorenzo. But alas, the young mademoiselle Henrietta Dubois could not escape her sordid fate. He yanks the handle to his erythrotrope, or erythrotrope, erythrotrope, and a silhouette of a man stabbing a woman appears on the wall. The crowd stares dumbly at the shadow and they smile with yellow teeth made for biting. Lorenzo looks at the audience with disgust. He takes out another wheel labeled the third eye for brotherhood use only. He hesitates but puts the wheel in his contraption. The next story is not meant for the likes of you. It's something I normally only show refined ladies and gentlemen, but I'll make an exception tonight. Those tired, ugly eyes of yours shall see something new. Lorenzo yanks the handle. Thousands of years ago, the third eye shone over the islands in the far east, but one night it fell from the sky. A comet passes on the wall. Strangely enough, it quiets down the crowd. They follow the comet while gaping and see it crash to the ground. A human found it, and when she held it, she saw the magic of this world. She had a vision, so she painted a creature in red ochre on the cave wall. Oh, I've seen this one, I think. Cave paintings show up all over the wall. The crowd is a bit confused by the effect. At night, the Crimson Beast awoke. It spread chaos and death and devoured the human and her people. Oh, these are parts of the, the sideshow, I think. A red monster appears. The crowd screams in terror as it, and it, as it attacks them. Some of them have had enough and flee the theater. Lorenzo slows down and the beast disappears. The story of the red creature became a legend, but the third eye lived on and appears in the most unlikely of places to this day. That is all for tonight. You have been a wonderful audience. Go away. The crowd mutters and leaves. One man, better dressed and cleaner than the rest, remains in his seat. He studies Lorenzo with cold eyes brother Tertius. When Lorenzo discovers his presence, his pupils dilate from fear. All right, shortcut one. Time to just do this shortcut really quick. We will interrogate what we see there in that chair after. <laughs> one, four, nine, sixteen. 25? Yeah. 
it's just raising them to the same power. All right. Hell yeah. Oh, that's where the typewriter typing was coming from. Interesting. 